You're openly gay, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, okay, I am. So, so Mike was, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, lo I love that. Surprise. <laughs> so, so, so did my comment offend you personally? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and I think one of the reasons it, it offended me is that I, I watched some of your stuff on YouTube, um, but my brothers are 11 and 14 years younger than I am, and they love you. And, you know, they don't watch me on CNN or MSNBC, but they watch you. And so when they see you making a joke about being gay or going gay for a month, it affects them. You are a person that sets the tone of what is acceptable to make a joke of. And so when youth watch you and say, hey, Logan Paul made this joke, that's what kind of uh, legitimizes bullying in school. I mean, because, you know, I grew up, you know, in a Southern Baptist uh, household where I had this in elementary school on the playground. They would joke about, hey, this kid's gay or things like that. And that's what people could take from your comments. And that's why it was um, awful. And I think uh, you two, especially like when you heard Logan say this, you should also step up to say, that's not cool, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you all, we need to be accountable as men to each other to say, Hey, this is not okay. I, I agree. Absolutely. <clears throat> Did you decide it was a joke? What? Did you decide it was a joke it, for you over what you said? Yeah. Oh, I did not think it was a joke at all. I don't think it is acceptable to make that kind of joke. Do you think it's a joke? What, what he said, do you think what he said was a joke? No. Was he, I think, I think what he's asking is, do you think he was being humorous or was he making a statement about an intention to actually- Oh, I think he was trying to be humorous. Okay. Was he successful? No. Okay. Did you come to that conclusion yourself? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I saw the comments right away and I was like, this is not, I mean, that's just not okay. Like if my- So if I want to hook up with dudes for a month in March, I can't do that. Are you being making that as a joke or are you being legitimate? Like if you are generally uh, want to experiment with men, that's a different thing than saying, hey, I'm going to go gay for a month, so, making a joke. So if you're being a, if you're making a joke, that's one thing. If you're being serious and want to, and, and want to experiment with men, that's a completely different thing. And if you want to clarify that. I, that's, that's what I would love to do here because that's where I feel like – there's been uh, there's been uh, there's a gap some yeah. somewhere here between between what I said and what I tweeted back at Glad was um, this was a poor choice of words because that's what it was it was a very poor choice of words I understand now that I I've going gay is not a choice that is not what I implied by saying that that is that was what the narrative that was chosen that the, that the media decided to run with. I've never thought that. I think who you are attracted to is innate to who you are. That is genetic. And that's, that's that. I've, I've thought that my whole life. And I've had arguments at length at this house about that. L like plain and simple, that is what I believe. And by me saying I was going gay, horrible choice of words. Cause I, again, I understand you cannot just go gay, but if I want to experiment with men for a month during March, how would you describe that action? It's experimentation. You're you're essentially maybe bi curious, and you want to explore your sexuality, and we need to support that. I mean, if that's what you're choosing to do is explore your sexuality, then we can have a discussion about that. And uh, I mean, there's tons of support and resources out there to do so because I know it's a very scary thing being a very public person to say, "Hey, I I, I have this curiosity. I want to explore my sexuality," and we need to have a support system for that to happen. So but it's not it's not even scary to me because like sexuality is so fluid nowadays. I don't think twice about talking about being. Being gay, I don't give a shit. I don't. I don't think being gay is being gay is cool to me. I think that it's a very cool thing. It is incredibly courageous and noble if you are a gay person to come out and put your foot down and and defy society and say no, this is who I am, this is me. There is nothing more beautiful than being yourself. So I I, I don't I, again I, I didn't think twice about it because to me sexuality is so fluid. Like I, I, I like I don't care if he's gay if she's gay if he's bisexual if he's going to be a transgender i don't give a fuck dude so that's why and th this this hurts me because i am such a pro gay dude like um what I mean, if you're being truthful that you really are planning to experiment with men next month or in February, then let's 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 make that clear. I mean, because I think that's what's that you need to make that clear so that people get do off I this. do I need to make that clear? I think or so. is that uh, is or is that up to me? Is that my decision? It's absolutely your decision. But I think that you need to clarify whether or not it's a joke or not a joke. So one thing that I saw quite a bit of is that some of the gay community actually defended Logan and said, um, you know, hey, it's the same as a straight person making or a, a gay person making the comment that I'm going to go straight. So what's your opinion on that? I know 
it, it's different, obviously, because that community has been suppressed. But there is a large gay community that didn't get offended. They saw it as a joke. So I guess that's our learning lesson here is figuring out, okay, well, that's a joke that crossed the line for some people. And I think that's what we're figuring out now. And I think a lot of people that uh, uh, weren't offended by it kind of probably live in that bubble that, uh, you know, don't have the marginalized community that they live in. I mean, uh, they, they, they come from a place of privilege. And I think that you need to understand that uh, – the gay community is marginalized. Like 87% of all LGBTQ students are bullied in school. And so uh, we just want to create that atmosphere where you don't have to be the biggest advocate in the world, but you just got to not be an asshole. And that's what we got to do is, um, and, and a great example of this is, is family guy phasing out their, their gay jokes right now is that we just need to set the tone that it's not uh, funny right now, especially in the entertainment industry. Uh, speaking about glad they do a study every year about the acceptance of LGBT uh, people in America. And, uh, last year is at 54%. This year it's at 49%. So it's actually going down. And when we see trends like that in America, we need to step back and say, what are we doing to make America, America better um, and how we're creating this kind of trend? And I think saying it's a joke sets that kind of trend. I, I think throughout but, but, the- Wait, but I just want to make clear. Uh, yeah. I did not say that was a joke. That was the narrative that the media decided to run with because my name is Logan Paul. So, are, I mean, are you trying to say that you're going to, like, explore your sexuality? Who no. knows? If I want to in March, I'm going to fucking do it. If I want to hook up with dudes in March, I'm going to fucking do it. Like, I, I am not on this uh, train of, oh, I, I, I'm i worried about people think I'm, I'm gay or I'm straight. Again, I don't care. I think I was, I said something, again, poor choice of words. And by the way, I'm incredibly sorry from the bottom of my heart for any implication that being gay is a choice. I do not believe that. I think it is an innate who you are attracted to. I think I uh, misspoke and used the word gay, a, a ch very charged word gay interchangeably um, and mistakenly with a word like experiment or try out. And for that, genuinely am very sorry. But I think also it's clear that you need to make clear, especially to the people that watch you, that this isn't a joke, that if you're truly going to experiment with men, you're not making fun of this process. Like I'm taking a dude upstairs, like, and then make a funny vlog about it. Like you need to be serious that this is like something that's going on in your life. Cause if you, at the moment that you start making fun of the fact that you're taking a guy upstairs, that's where it crosses the line and becomes a joke. I have a, I have a quick question on that. Is, are we just, just to make a clear blanket statement right now, are we as a society at a point where we can say without fail, that it is not okay for a straight person to make a joke about the gay community, about being gay, about experimenting with being gay. Like, I think as as times have changed in America, we've seen certain jokes ruled out. We've seen things not be okay to joke about. Have we reached that point? With Absolutely not. I mean, like, if you watch Conan, he did a hilarious stunt where he went on Grindr. Um, I forget who he went on with, but he went on Grindr to find people, and it was hilarious. But he's there with a, a LGBT advocate, and it's it's funny, but he's not crossing a line where he's saying, hey, I can go gay for a month. Where you still have, you know, 35 states where gay youth conversion therapy is still okay. Like, that's where the narrative of, you know, I can go gay for a month is it's so, problematic. So him going on Grinder is him saying, I am okay with experimenting for a short period of time. Like, what, he wasn't what, experimenting, but he was he was having fun with why, going why, on Grindr. Why was he on Grindr? <laughs> uh, they were trying to just show like how you can meet people on Grinder. It wasn't a hookup kind of concept. But there was an implication there, right? Yeah. Like there was an implication that he was going to jokingly experiment as being Oh no, there, there, was, there was never there was never an experimentation of like, hey, I'm going to go hook up with this guy. Then why is he on Grinder? Yeah, why wouldn't he use Tinder? Oh, I use Grinder all the time for not uh, hooking course. up. I like, mean, yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, when I when I travel through Europe, Grinder's a great no, way no, to no, meet no. people. Just hear, but hear me out. But you're but you're gay, obviously, and so it, it's the platform that makes sense for you. Why would he not use a Tinder or a Bumble where there's more of an opportunity to have straight? He did too. He did. He did all. <laughs> yeah. of okay. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. 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 Okay. I'm just wondering, and, and I hate to do this. Um, I really hate to do this, but I, 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 I do feel a bit uh, like there's a, like a pile of rocks on me, sort of, as you know. Um, I have been at the center of public controversy. Um, but I do feel like there's a, a magnifying glass on me now that I don't, that I am trying to get out from underneath. Um, and again, I hate to do this, but... Joe Rogan said 
this on his podcast uh, four, three days ago? After. Three days ago, yeah. which is after, which is after um, I said what I said. <laughs> she bird boxes you. When Women you are done room. with us, man. They're done. I feel like they're done. Do you feel like that? <laughs> I think it's a precarious time. A lot of chicks are probably going lesbo this week. Oh, it's a, dude. I Especially would be a, with Trump. I think the uh, the more days that the the government is shut down, the more women are going to go lesbian. They're yeah. going to hate men so much because of Trump. They're just yeah. going to go gay. But people and always gay say people right now are going. That's not how it works. <laughs> Duh. Remember what I said earlier about jokes? But it, what's funny? Not a single tweet about that. Well, so one, I'm not the media. I'm not the person that's like putting you up here to say, hey, uh, you did this wrong. But two, shame on you for trying to deflect your own actions. Like you're literally saying- Shame on me? Yeah, I mean- Why? Why, why? You, like, why was there not a tweet about Joe Rogan? I don't control their other tweets. I don't even know who he is. I, I, I've, but like, you, yeah. like you're deflecting from your own actions. Not really. I've you just said, made it very clear that I'm very sorry for any implication that being gay is a choice. And I'm saying, why, where's, where's the line drawn between like, Something I say and something another person shame says. Shame on because him too. Like I mean, I'm. I, I, you want me to get my Twitter out right now and shame him too? I'll do it. So, no, I don't because yeah. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in watching something and the the, the very first thought that enters my brain is, "Wow, what an asshole for attack attack yeah. well, for our home." Me being homophobic, bro, brother. I've kissed many men, whether it's on film, whether it's just fucking around in the vlogs, like, and this is why when I'm under attack for this whole thing, I'm sitting here like, do I, do I tweet these pictures of me in like films, kissing dudes in acting class? Like what, trying to like prove my gayness? No, that's not right. Then that's weird. Like, which is this whole thing, like it, it, it hurts. So I want you to continue talking about, about this and why, like, cause you're, you're literally your first thing was shame on you. And that's not what I asked you to do. To I'm saying, where is that? Does that offend you? Yes, absolutely. It does. I mean, I, and I said that first thing was that that offends me too. I, I, I listen. Even I, though he clarified that it is a joke and um, gave it context, absolutely. I think it's. I think at, at that point, like when you are making jokes like that, it's just not acceptable. Your, I think to, what what Mike was saying is he's trying to find a narrative. Okay, and you you said it's not necessarily that time that we can't joke about these things. So. If he's clarifying it's a joke, um, you know, Logan was clearly not, you know, trying to like defame anybody. So where, what's a reasonable way that we can still joke about something but not offend people? Because everybody's going to get offended at something. Exactly. And there's not a thousand page manual that I can write to say, hey, you're going to do this joke, do this. Like I'm not. It's context. It's exactly. It's context. I think what you just said was was an example of a bad context. Now, I mean, I believe you when you say that you're an advocate for the LGBTQ world. Like, I'm not here to crucify you at all. Right. And I believe that, um, you know, your your apology is genuine and you can be a great ally. And I think your actions should just back that up. Um, but I'm not here to, to crucify anyone or anything. I'm just here to talk about how we can improve, you know, the LGBTQ representation in, in entertainment and, and make it a better world. Yeah.